Hello students, welcome to IS by Heart. Welcome to today's comprehensive editorial analysis. In this analysis, I will be telling you what are the important points or important articles you have to read and I will be giving you a guiding light uh, for reading the highlighted newspaper. To download the highlighted newspaper, uh, uh, find the link in the description box below. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Let's look at the first article for today. Pious and sanctimonious. Uh, in the article, what is the name recent farmers agitation pati social media la various hashtags were trending. Uh, even uh, famous personalities from other countries, they were also trending. Path, what the government did was, uh, they don't even know what is happening here. What is the various social media, uh, social ha Twitter handles are suspended. That's why the uh, efforts or the steps taken by the government uh, shows that Romba hypersensitive towards criticism are irkang lo. Apni inna nama kore viewpoint yo tarra try uh, tarra alav ke irke abdin solra da in the article. What this article says is. Uh, that is uh, various responses, Nerea people, other than famous celebrities, many people, many governments also, they talked about these farmers protest, but the, that did not warrant a formal response from the government. Uh, that is, they say that one, what the government is saying is, in the mari, either they are saying, either one thing, internal affairs, other, other countries or other personalities, they don't even know the background of the issue. And they are saying that 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 India would uh, image uh, world level uh, defame pandradukaha. Many people are doing this. Apreena, the government is taking another stand. A conspiracy, illana organized dissent, informal criticism. Apro in in the madri vested interest groups were mobilizing international support. Uh, the fact that the uh, even lorda image inna na India would image uh, it should take through the muds. Abdin gada aim arka. Anna marda na ma paakro meita vara. Ida vande na ma or internal matter la nadakkuradhu indha alavukku world attention vaangudhu indha vishayam appadina what are the problems in this issue how soon we should resolve this issue appadina the government is not thinking appingiradhu one of the view point it requires no iteration that some issues that are bearing on human rights, uh, survival of democracy, human rights violations. For example, uh, many of the farmers they were arrested, after journalists were not in the journalists farmers support Pananglo, Avanglala arrest Pandra, sedition cases, though the farmers' protests have been going on for a very long time, they are uh, surviving with Myagar in internet barricades under they have to face the wrath of the police. And the Madri Neri human right violations and the farmers protest upon Adan the Teda Erka. So, whenever there are some incidents where human right violation is happening, de uh, democracy or democracy when the affect Agreda or situation Arkato, international re relations or international people will always tend to invite a comment. So, the best way for the government to avoid international criticism is not to allow more people to see it as authoritarian, disrespectful of rights and given to attempts to undermine the institution of democracy. So, our government is not going to do anything. If you are going to do anything, national and international arena landu namakku varudhu appadina what we should do to address this issue appadi dhaan or proper government should think that is what is said in this article the next one inevitable showdown idhu on the farmers protest related ada the government asked various twitter handles to block few accounts and the account ellame farmers idhu support panni vandhadu there is a major allegation that there is a conspiracy going behind like idella vandu they are funded by anti national elements uh, in the farmers protesting no kind of period scale lock no up in the government or the side of argument now when the government said uh, in the madri these handles should be prohibited twitter uh, initially when it accepted and those handles were initially blocked other couple my twitter said yeah we cannot uh, keep on blocking the kind of handles which criticizes the government of so later those accounts were uh, unfreezed so, the government threatening Twitter with penal action for not complying with its orders. That is it is seen as violation of the clash between two people. That is or a famous platform and the platform ko or government ko uh, the government criticize pandra people la nama punish pandra madri irukku apdi na solradhu nee seiyalana unga mele case poduvena and the twitter or facebook or and the platform mele nama adhe threaten pandra madri irukku a hashtag that suggested a farmer genocide was being planned abdingiradhu uh, alleged 
accusation ministry mate ordered these handles to be blocked on the grounds that they were spreading dangerous misinformation about the protest twitter initially complied with the order but restored these tweets ena epo par epo or government criticize pandra ella accounts ye nam block pannite irundona paadi accounts velaye paakadhu end country a irundhalo because every country there will be people who accept uh, accept the government reforms who, who dissent the government reforms though so that is not a reason to block these accounts so uh, the government end the section keela the block panna sonnaanga na the controversial 69a of the information techno it act of 2000 in the act la enna solranga na in the interest of sovereignty integrity defense of india security of the state friendly relation with foreign states or public order or for preventing incitement to violence or any cognizable offense relating to the above in in the adavadhu uh, in the vishayathukella edho onnu nadakapodu appadina the government can prohibit an account அவுண்ட் இல்லனா யாரோட ஃபண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரீஸ் பண்ண முடியோ அந்த மாதிரி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டெக்னாலஜி रिलेटेडா மெய்டி கேன் டேக் அக்கவுண்ட் இது இதுதான் இதோட ஆர்கியுமென்ட் so the same section uh, under which the hundreds of chinese apps have been banned in the recent month so in the section use panni da adiyum nam ban pannirukom and the various uh, and the or 114 apps were banned from china illaya that is under this act only so in the act la various conditions irukku for example ipo nama people oda data va collect pandranga na it, thre- it threatens the ena uh, solradhu sovereignty and integrity of india apdi irukumbo we can ban those apps adhe uh, adhe அதே ஆக்ட யூஸ் பண்ணி தான் இந்த ஃபார்மர்ஸ் அக்கவுண்ட்ஸையும் டிஸ்மேண்டல் பண்றதுக்காக ட்ரை பண்ணிருக்காங்க world over technology platforms have enough safeguards to act as intermediaries without being liable for the content இப்ப ட்விட்டர் ல ஏதாவது ஒரு ட்வீட்டோ இல்லை கமெண்ட்டோ போட்டால் நம்ம போய் ஜாக் டார் சி ட்விட்டர் சிஇஓவை கேட்க முடியாது பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் இன்டர்மீடியரிஸ் மக்கள் நினைக்கிறதையும் கவர்மெண்ட்டுக்கும் நடுவில் சொல்கிற ஒரு பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் தான் அவங்க ஸோ வி கே நாட் கோ அண்ட் அக்யூஸ் தெம் though the use of 69a section has been often criticized for the secrecy surrounding the process it was upheld in the supreme court in the uh, shreya singhal case so adavadhu ipo government feels that ipo government mala theva illama edavadhu or malefied intention oda or rumor spread panna try pandranga appo na the government can do it na it was upheld ana what we can see from all these instances is the government in uh, it is hyper sensitive towards any criticism eda or criticism na instead of addressing the criticism illana aduk badal solradhuk badila the government is either trying to uh, punish the journalists illana trying to sue the platforms like twitter fb illana to suspend the handles twitter handles illana facebook accounts and the madriye poitirukku not merely this is not merely distasteful but seriously problematic and in defensible on the grounds of freedom of speech adhe madri we have to look at the other side also thevellama provocate pandrathu ipo freedom of speech and expression irukengradukaga edha vena pesi makkala violence la idupada vekkrathu that is also a problem but people should have some degree of freedom of speech and expression moving on to the next article gandhi an imprint uh, this time uh, in the article enna solranga na how gandhi protested in peaceful manners le eppadi and the protest conduct pannaru adile what was his uh, uh, idea adavadhu his major idea was he avar avareye varthike dhaan try pannaru many fasting nadathnar nama independence movement modern india la nama neriya padichirpom he will uh, announce fast unto death adoda main aim enna va irundhuna opposite la iruka person oda psychology Yeah, we should make sure for example ipo nama veetu pakkathula yaro or or enna solra or problematic neighbor irukanga epa paaru sunday andha maadhiri irundhalo avangaluk odam seri illa nama poi enna nu kekkom la andha maadhiri or enna solradhu or moral standards konja namak ethics irukum la adha base panni da avaroda andha peaceful protest fast and to death adalla irundhathu ipo அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு மாரல் பிரின்சிபலை நம்ம எதிர்பார்க்க முடிய மாட்டேங்குது பிகாஸ் ஃபார் ஸோ மெனி டேஸ் த ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரொட்டஸ்டிங் இந்த ஹார்ஷ் வின்டராக இருக்கட்டும் அதில் நிறைய பேர் ஓல்ட் ஏஜ் பீப்புள் அந்த மாதிரி நிறைய ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இருந்தாலும் இதை த கவர்மெண்ட் ஆர் த அப்பர் மிடில் கிளாஸ் ஆர் த பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் சப்போர்ட்டிங் தெம் அவங்க வந்து தே ஆர் நாட் ஃபீலிங் பேட் ஃபார் த ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் புவர் ஹூ ஆர் ஓல்டு ஹூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் மச் மனி இல்லைனா ஹூ ஹாவ் வேரியஸ் ஹெல்த் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் அவங்களுக்காக தே ஆர் நாட் ஃபீ
feeling uh, feeling bad apdi irundhena in neram this uh, this problem would have come to an end abdingiradha in the article oda claim this is how if uh, how the gandhi's protest how he protested uh, same lines la the farmers are also protesting like in a peaceful manner etc irundhalume it the protest is not coming to an end why is it so is there any degradation of moral values in the society adha pathi kekkradha in the article நம்ம என்ன எப்பவுமே நினைக்கிறோம்னா த கவர்மெண்ட் அண்ட் த சப்போர்ட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த நியூ லாஸ் வியூ ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ஆஸ் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பர்சுவேஷன் ஆர் கைடன்ஸ் அதாவது இப்போ நியூவாக வந்திருக்க ஒரு ஃபார்ம் லாஸ் பாவம் அவங்க படிக்காதவங்க தானே அவங்களுக்கு ஒன்றுமே தெரியாது அப்படின்னு நம்ம நினைக்கிறோமே தவிர உங்களுக்கு என்ன உங்களுக்கு என்ன நல்லதுன்னு உங்களுக்கே தெரியாது அப்படின்னு ஃபார்மர்ஸ் கிட்ட இந்த கவர்மெண்ட் சொல்ல ட்ரை பண்ணுறாங்களே தவிர அவங்களோட சைட் ஆஃப் ஆர்குமெண்ட்டும் என்ன அப்படின்னு கேட்க மாட்டேங்கிறாங்க அப்படிங்கிறது இந்த ஆத்தரோட வியூ பாயிண்ட் ஓகே ஃபார்மர்ஸ் கேனாட் பி எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் டு நோ தேர் ஓன் குட் எஸ்பெஷலி த பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் தட் ஆர் சம்வாட் டிஸ்டன்ட் அதாவது இன்னும் இந்த லா இப்போ இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணால் இதோட நல்லது என்னென்னு இப்போ தெரியாது இன்னும் ஃபியூ இயர்ஸில் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் அதெல்லாம் புரிஞ்சுக்கிற அளவுக்கு உங்களுக்கு பக்குவம் இல்லை இதுதான் கவர்மெண்ட்டோட அக்யூசேஷனாகவே இருக்கே தவிர வாட் ஆர் த ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ரெக்குவயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே உங்கள் ரெக்குவயர்மெண்ட்ஸும் ஏற்ற மாதிரி இந்த பில்லை நம்ம மாடிஃபை பண்ணுவோம் அப்படின்னு இட் இஸ் நாட் கோயிங் ஆன் on account of general ignorance and lack of education avanga padikadavanga illana avangalukku theriyadu andha maadhiri da poittu irukku the poor spread of education reinforces this stereotypical perception ipo oru vela nama farmers ellame ipo or ma in agriculture appadi irundirundanga na ennavo seri okay padichavanga avanga solradhuley nyaya irukku nama nenappomo ennavo inda government nenikkumo ennavo avanga majority of the farmers padikadavangala irukkadanaala avangaloda karuthu illana avangaloda view point ku weightage illama irukku the community uh, typical perception of the farming community is being simple minded therefore prone to prone to being misled adavadhu the farmers protest e yen nadakkudha appo na yaro oru thavanga the farm loss la vandha idu romba kettadu avula dhaan alinjidu farming e alinjidu appo ni yaro oru thavanga solranga adha misled aagi the farmers in the protest pandranga appadina or general perception irukku aduve thappu nu solranga education is in fact quite crucially responsible for widening the hierarchical divide between rural and urban and for portraying the urban people as engine of change than the former adavadhu ipo city la irukanga na avangalukku oru naal vishayam therinjirukku rural la irukanga na they won't know much things apdi nam nenikiradhukku education oru mukkiyamaana vishayam the view that farmers opposition to the new law is merely reflection of certain doubts which can be removed in the course of further discussion adavadhu discuss panna discuss panna avanga doubts remove aayiru nu nenikiram adavadhu ipo கிளாஸ் முடிஞ்சதுனா டீச்சர் கேட்பாங்களே ஏதாவது டவுட்ஸ் இருக்கா அதாவது இந்த டீச்சர் இஸ் அசியூமிங் இந்த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு டவுட்ஸ் மட்டும்தான் இருக்கும் நம்ம சொன்னதில் டவுட்ஸ் தான் இருக்குமே தவிர அவங்களுக்கு ரியல் கொஷின் இருக்கும்னு அவங்க நினைக்க மாட்டேங்கிறாங்க சம் சம் டீச்சர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஒர்த் ஆத்தர் இஸ் கம்பேரிங் ஹியூர் so while the one who uh, the very idea that must protest must remain peaceful is the legacy of gandhi avar eppome end the protest for example chauri chauri incident nadandadume he will suspend non cooperation movement appadi irukumode avaroda main idea ve protest should be there eppala government vanda makkalukku edira pogudho appo there should be protest ana that protest should be peaceful that is what gandhi's idea was while the one who protest is expected to shun violence adavadhu they should not handle violence the other side must also fulfill an expectation ivangalum peacefully protest pannu avangalum konjam humanitarian grounds paakanum for example in gandhi's frame the protester endures great suffering and thereby arousing deeper human instincts in the adversary heart adavadhu fast unto death na ayyo yo saagra ivanga saapidamle saaga poraangala na people will feel or or and the humanity irukum to see this as a strange romantic idea is to miss the moral vision and where it comes from so the old ethics sustained in several cultures so gandhi eda base a vechittu in the fast unto death illa na na peaceful ah protest pannuven eda enna grounds la idella pannarna there is some ethics within human avanga avanga vandha innoru uyir nammala kashta padakudadu andha mari sila ethics irukku manushangalukku yaravadhu oru thavanga suffer ana adha paathu thaanga maatanga indha mari basic ethics and the background la illa na and the foundation la da avaru avaroda style of protest e frame pannaru gandhi used this old value system to develop his ethics of non violence uh, in oppositional politics 
Gandhi saw the protesters' willingness to endure physical discomfort as a means of awakening the adversary's saner instinct. That is, if you law pass a law, for example, Raul attack is going to be arrested. attack is going to be anybody could be arrested for any reason, anywhere, anytime. If you have a in the law, I will die without eating food. If you have a law, you will die without eating food. If you have a law, you will die law. Impose pannangle, introspect pannikral, okay? he'll, he'll inst uh, instigate their uh, conscience. So, the farmer's struggle and suffering have failed to achieve this psychological goal. Neither the government or the privileged class seem to feel a sense of unease over the physical suffering. Many among the protesters have lost their lives and deaths have been ignored. Over the past few decades, a few lakh farmers have committed suicide. Their despair has not moved many in the metropolitan centers. Apparently, India has gone through a sea change in values both at personal level and at collective level or society avum irukatum or individual avum irukatum namakku innoru thavanga kashta pattaanga na ayyo appadina namakku uneasy aagura and the quality namakku poiduchu appadina romba ethical perspective la irukadha in the article missing the gandhian imprint if this is more on gs4 side just have a look at it, uh, look at this article to get an overall view so the the next one a year on mind the gaps in the pandemic response that is though we have responded our fatality rate romba kammi india la vanda number of people who are dying because of pandemic la romba kammiya irundalo for example india oda fatality rate 1.4% na when compared to uk 2.8% south africa la 3.1% etc appadi ella irundalume let's look at the other countries for example uh, Bangladesh la it is 1.5 percent, Pakistan la 2.1 percent, uh, Bhutan la 0.1 percent, Nepal, Sri Lanka, which is our uh, very neighboring country who have equal nam lalavke angulukulio internal politics etc. Yella me irk. Apni irk mo Sri Lanka orda fatality rate 0.5 percent. So, deaths due to COVID-19 per million population in Bangladesh is 50. Pakistan 54 in Sri Lanka 16. So, we should make sure that uh, in, the, in the gap in response, uh, population we have a different kind of uh, crowd. We should make sure that the gap in response is fulfilled. India is among the few countries to announce a stringent nationwide lockdown much before it had si significant cases. There was no evidence-based justification provided for such sudden imposition of lockdown. And the imposition an unintended offshoot was large-scale exodus of migrants. That is, people started migrating from urban areas to rural areas back to their homes in the countryside. Dozens died in the exodus with many in horrific road accidents. So, this is a sudden imposition of lockdown. What are the lessons learned from it? First, in the context of the country's federal structure, we have state opinions that is called as cooperative federalism. We should make sure that the uh, response can be successful. With, we should know that the response cannot be successful without the ownership at the state level. That is the first lesson that we learned. The second one is, in all epidemic responses, generation and use of strategic information plays a crucial role. For example, uh, disease surveillance, Abdirka, India's national disease surveillance framework, how did we track this disease? In the course of time, what were the role of these organizations? ICMR carried out sero surveillance studies in metropolitan areas and these were uh, limited in coverage. That is one, one of the problem in these surveys and periodicity. The next one is the lack of involvement of civil society, various NGOs, NGOs had a role, it was very important in curbing uh, polio etc. And the mother, uh, TB, polio, that is very important. If you look at the COVID pandemic, uh, on the disease, la, what were the role of the civil societies? Was it very limited? Rindu, we have to think about. So, the plans to revive the economy and restore livelihoods of millions of people who are today in danger of starvation from whom even the basic healthcare become unaffordable. They have changed. The pandemic period has exacerbated the existing social inequalities and the poor face a loss of a decade ahead. That's why they have gone back to the poverty. 
a challenge which needs to be addressed on priority. So this article, I would request you to have a look at this article and form your own opinion. This is about the board exams which are about to be conducted. One side of the argument says we should conduct the board exams. Late anadha aidichu, we should move it. Illana, ipo in the lag vandha aduttha varshamu it will get carried over. Anna madri, one side of the argument. The other argument says, since nariya perukka online, this is the first exam where people will be writing the final board exams. Adhaadhi, in the board exam vetschi dha, 10th standard na 11th la nama end group seira porom 12th standard na end college la seira porom adha vechi avanga life e decide aga poradhu ind board exams vechi dhaan so appadi irukkum odhu veru virtual education vechi ind exam a first time students elda poranga appadi irukkum odhu id avasara avasarama ippa nama conduct pannadhu it's not a good idea what we should do is we should make sure our three months time edutthikta marubidi back to school poyittu we should brush up all the concepts for the students andha madri nama pannanu me thavara avasara avasarama and exam held the kudadu apdi ngirudhu two sides of the view point i have highlighted the important points in both the sides of the argument kindly have a look at it and the final article for today the way forward in myanmar we know that the recently the military organized a coup in that uh, uh, country and what are the problems in that country and what are the lessons that we can learn mukhyamana three lessons enna na the developments in myanmar will invariably bring back, bring back the old debate around the prudence of sanctions. If there is a country and the country or the military is taking over the country, what we should do is, where sanctions impose panona, will the country get back to normalcy? We should learn that. The second one is, given that the military has been able to economically withstand by striking deals with Asian countries, for example, China. To, in the past, sanctions are unlikely to bring any major political change. That's why the dictatorship is cancelled. We have to think over. We need accountability for crimes against humanity. For example, recently Myanmar faced uh, large huma, uh, human violations of Rohingya crisis. And the Marla crisis who is responsible for that? That's why the crisis hasn't died down. But we still do not have anyone who takes responsibility for the mass exodus of uh, Rohingya Muslims. The critical international player in Myanmar is China. China has appointed specific envoys who are de facto working in Myanmar related issues since 2013. We should make sure that uh, one country does not use another country for its own benefit. Many international mechanisms comprising Western and Asian countries that were formed to coordinate strategies were disbanded after 2015 elections. So, uh, we should make sure uh, what the neighboring country is undergoing. Is there anything that uh, we can do to instill democracy in that country? No, we should take care. The expectation that Myanmar will see nationwide protest against, uh, against the Tatmadaw after the coup was examined uh, with the geographical extent of uh, the other ethnic groups. Adi, internally, there are many ethnic groups within the country. We should make sure that the internal politics is not reflected in the national politics. So, uh, in the conclusion, we can use this in any main's answer or essay even. No one possesses a magic wand for solution, but there is one consistent lesson that no change is irreversible. That is why we have a country. For example, we went through various problems, emergency, femina, plague, death, and no change is irreversible. Particularly in a context where military leadership scripted the meaning of democracy and domestic forces, forces and Geopolitical, uh, geopolitics continuously fail to deter its actions and impulses to rule. So, every change is irreversible. The country and the international community should come forward and save the country. That was the major gist of this article. So, that's all for today's articles. Uh, I advise you to kindly download the newspaper and have a look at the highlighted parts. So, I hope this session was useful. We will meet you tomorrow. Thank you.